I am Anil Kumar and now let us practice rounding numbers. This time we are going to round numbers to nearest hundreds. So here are some numbers. You can pause the video, copy these numbers, round to nearest hundred and then check with my video how to do them. Well, rounding to hundreds means you need to check for which place. You are rounding to hundreds. So like 100, 200, 300, you need to check for place value tens. You have to check for tens. So tens are, this is unit that is tens. So this number second from the right side is tens place. You need to check these numbers. If these numbers are five or more, you need to round higher. Right? So we have two possibilities. Let me write here. We have two possibilities. One is five or more. Five or more. It really means five or means five, six, seven, eight, nine. These five numbers. Then you round higher. Correct? Then you round higher. Correct? So upside. If it is lower than five, that is to say, the number could be 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. In that case, you round lower, right? So take the lower number. Okay. So let's begin with the very first number, which is 1253. Tens place, we have 5. 53. 5 is in tens place. Since 5 or more, we have to round higher. So this number will be rounded to 12 means 1253 becomes 1300 right so we increase this 2 by 1 this 2 right so that is what this concept is same thing you can apply to b it is 5 5 or more round higher so what do we get we get this number as this is 854 it becomes 900 3900 Okay, you get the idea. Next number here is 6, which is also 5 or more higher. So 168 becomes 200. So we write 5200. Numbers on left side of 100 will not change. Okay. Now, 2651, 5 again. So this should be higher. It becomes 27. Do you see that? So numbers on the thousand place do not change. Only number which changes increases maybe the number in the hundreds place and the rest becomes zero. Right? That is what rounding to hundreds is. So whenever you round to hundreds, you'll get numbers with ending with 100, 200, 300, 400 and so on. Okay. The next number here is 3042. Tens place we have 4. 4 is lower than 5, so this rounds lower, so we get 3000, right? 3000. So in this case, just make 4 and 2 both as 0. That gets you a lower number, right? 2 is again lower than 5, so just change 27 to 0, 0, so we get 74, 0, 0. That is rounding to hundreds, lower side. 6 is higher than 5, 5 or more, so 964 will be rounded higher, that means 1000. If you add 1000 to 5000, what do you get? You get 6000. You see, these are sometimes when the 1000 value also change. Do you see that? So normally, it will not change, but in such cases, it may change. So if it is 900, more than 950, then the thousand value changes, correct? Now let's move on. 6940, 4 is lower than 5, therefore we'll just make them zeros. 6900, 800. This number is 0, so it remains same. It is 800, right? So lower. 800 is the lowest, right? 905. It could be rounded to 900 or 1000. Since we have zero in tens place, we'll select the lower one, which is 900. Do you see that? 
what you also see here we can round 800 to 800 there is no change in this number in all rest of the cases after rounding to hundreds the number either increases do you see that or it may decrease depending on the number in tens place this is very important to understand let's do two more 1006 number in tens place is zero and therefore hundreds place remains same and rest you get zero so we get 1000 1 2 3 4 number in tens place is 3 so the numbers in once in tens places will be replaced by zeros so you get 1200 that is how you should be doing it right as an added exercise what you can also do is you can find the change in the new number which is the rounded number from the original number we'll do that in another video also i hope that helps you a lot i am anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best